what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where i'm going to be giving you my guide to e song a in rise of kingdoms now we've talked about this commander on this channel before and anytime people discuss who's the best legendary in rise of kingdoms Esong is always a part of that discussion he's always right up there with some of the best despite him having been in the game since pretty much day one now at first glance it looks like he's an archer commander but he's much much more than that and because of that i actually do think that pretty much every player no matter what troop type you're focusing on Esong is probably a commander that you should be investing pretty heavily in so we're going to talk about what makes Esong so dominant in this game but first we have to talk about how do you actually get Esong a how do you actually get him in the game well there's two events that allow you to get sculptures of Esong. the first and the most obvious is the wheel of fortune he does show up on the wheel of fortune starting at around 94 days into your kingdom so what that means is if you are playing in a kingdom that's much older than 94 days then Esong is no longer going to be on the wheel of fortune for your kingdom they don't as of the time of recording this they've never reused a wheel of fortune commander on the wheels so and by that i mean they've never put older commanders back on the wheels so the only way to get him at that point would be through a separate event called card king and card king you flip cards and you can choose which legendary commander you want the uh, rewards to be Esong will show up there so again if you're in an older kingdom and he's not on the wheel anymore that's the only way to get him is through card king with that being said let's talk about the skills on e song yay he is super super great when it comes to the skill department his first skill is called reign of arrows it's an active skill with a rage requirement of 1000 and the text says deals direct damage damage factor of 1400 to the enemy in a fan-shaped area damage delta each target will be reduced by 15 percent for each additional target can damage at most five targets so this is literally just a generic aoe this is a powerful raw damage aoe there's no debuffing there's no slowing there's no buffing of your own troops there's no shields there's no stipulations it doesn't say when in garrison or on the map it's just straight up we're hitting everything in front of us that's it with that being said let's move on to our second skill this is called art of archery this is a passive skill that says troops normal attacks have a 10 percent chance to grant an additional 100 rage and increase the attack of target units uh attack of archer units by a hundred percent for the next three seconds so this is the only skill on Esong that is an archer related skill what's good to know about this is that even though half of this is related to archers the rage regeneration is actually just good no matter what type of army he's in he has a 10 percent chance of giving 100 rage that's a nice rage engine very good on top of that if you do have him in a full archer build this will be doubling the attack of your archers for three seconds that's really really great when this does actually pop off now if you're skilling up Esong, you absolutely want this first skill to be five before you proceed so make sure that rain of arrows goes to five then you want to bring them to two stars and bring art of archery also to five skill points at that point you can bring them all the way to four stars because the fourth skill is incredibly good as well but with that being said let's take a look at the third skill i don't know how to pronounce the dynasty there but it says increases the attack of the garrison and watchtower by 10 percent when this commander is serving as garrison commander so straight up you throw them on your wall you get 10 percent more attack for your garrison which is really good right because that applies to all the troop types in your city it's not just archers in your city get a 10 percent attack buff it's every single troop type in your city gets that buff which is incredibly good next we have destiny this is just a straight up increases active skill damage by 50 percent that's what he does he increases your active skill damage by 50 percent so pairing him with another commander that deals active skill damage is brutal right this is a brutal skill because not only is he buffing his own active skill damage which is we've already talked about it it's really high but this applies to your primary commander or whoever else is with him as well so that's you know a sun tzu or somebody else that deals active skill damage um he's going to be buffing that by 50 percent, which is great 
let's take a look at his expertise and i am so close to getting this expertise man i'm so close i got 68 universals here we got two more skill points to go his expertise is called arrow storm and essentially what this does is it changes the primary skill from a damage factor of 1400 to a damage factor of 1700 so we get a nice damage buff there then the biggest point to know the biggest change in this skill is that it goes from a fan shaped area to a circular area so that means on the battlefield when his aoe goes off instead of it shooting out in a fan it shoots out in a circle surrounding esong in the center of that circle so that means that if he is fighting a target in front of him and he's getting swarmed from behind if he uses his active skill that aoe shoots up and hits everything in the circle around this army this is an incredibly good ability and that small little piece of text right there converting fan shape to circular area completely changes Song's effectiveness right no longer will you have to worry about which direction you're aiming your your army or anything like that it doesn't matter if you're near Song, you're gonna get hit by his aoe which will give you tremendous value in the open field not only just fighting but if you're garrisoning a flag or a fortress or even your city people can't swarm without risking getting just straight dead troops now until theodora came into the game this was the only commander in the game that had the circular aoe now theodora does have the circular aoe prior to her expertise but that does not make esong useless and the reason for that is because theodora shows up like 450 days into the game so there's no way that you're gonna save all your gems that entire time just to get her plus i'm pretty sure she's a mightiest governor commander so getting her from as a free to play is going to be difficult as it is and if you wait until card king that's going to be even more than 450 days there's no comparison right yes they both have circular aoe but esong is just he's he shows up on the wheel he's the second wheel in the game like he's just he's so early on and he's so great at what he does that theodora in my opinion is probably not going to replace him if anything they will work in conjunction i honestly cannot wait to see some of the savage reports that we're going to be seeing when you have an expertise theodora and esong on a flag that's going to be absolutely nuts but anyway with that being said esong is definitely a commander that i recommend you expertise consider expertising him again bring him to five bring this first skill to five then bring the second skill to five then bring them to four stars try to get that expertise so really when you look at it this is skill damage rage regeneration skill damage and this is for giving you an attack bonus when you're defending a garrison so literally Esong is good at defending objectives right he's good at defending things and he's good at skill damage he is arguably the best skill damage aoe commander in the entire game like He's insanely good, right? Insanely good for AOE skill damage. That's what you want to use him for. And because of that, he actually doesn't really need to be the primary. In fact, I rarely see Isong A as a primary commander in a flag, fort, city, or even in the open field. You just don't really see it. The reason that he's not typically the primary commander in the open field is because whenever the enemy sees an Isong out in the open field, suddenly that is the target, right? And everybody knows you want to kill the Isong on the field as soon as possible because the longer he's in the open field the more value he's going to be getting from his uh arrow storm ability right it's going to be hard to fight in the open field if there's too many esong out on the field right so if you see him you want to kill him first and you usually usually because of that you want to put esong as the secondary commander behind somebody else that maybe doesn't get as much attention with that being said if you want a talent build right now remember talents only work on the primary commander and esong is most likely going to be a secondary commander no matter no matter what you do with him whether he's in a flag or he's in the open field or whatever um he is probably going to be the secondary however this wouldn't be a commander guide if i didn't show you some talent builds that you could do with esong if you want him as a primary all right so with that being said let me show you some talent builds now obviously this is kusanoki but they do have the exact same uh talent trees so this is a full archer build this is a build that you could do if you're going to have an open field 
um, Arnie, that is all archers. This is something that you could do. We went all the way up to whistling arrows. Now, if you're going to be leveling up your, uh, your E song, the first thing I would do is make your way over here to rejuvenate. I think that is an incredibly good skill to have because you want rage regeneration on E song. Not only does he have it on his second skill built in by default, but you want as much of it from his talents as possible because the more rage regeneration he has, the more he's going to abuse that circular AOE. And that's what you want. What we did here is we make our way all the way to rejuvenate first. So that means you grab burning blood, then you grab all for one, and then you grab rejuvenate, ignore latent power. Then I would probably make my way up to venomous sting because this also increases your active skill damage by 8%, which is really, really nice. Then I would make your way probably up to whistling arrows. Then you can finish off the edges on the sides here and then go in and uh, actually grab tactical mastery as well because that also increases active skill damage by three percent and then you can put maybe three points into heraldic shield again we're ignoring latent power so you could take these three points away you could put one of them here into heraldic shield and then you could put the rest of the points really wherever you want it doesn't make too much of a difference you could do attack here or you could do health it's really up to you now the reason that we're not putting points into latent power is because this is increasing additional skill damage right and Esong actually does not do any additional skill damage he does direct damage right he has the direct damage factor we can see that here it's just direct damage factor there is no additional damage factor where if you look at kusunoki he has additional damage factor and that is what latent power is focused on now of course if Esong is the secondary right and you have a primary that does have additional skill damage like kusunoki you may consider using latent power but in the event that you have a esong primary um it's just it's probably not talents that you really need again it, it depends on who you're pairing with but honestly um it's a it's a small buff to a small skill damage it's not that crazy now another build that you could do would be something like this which goes all in on your skill tree now what this does is it gives you feral nature which gives you a 10 percent chance for an another for another 100 rage so this is essentially part of esong's second skill remember he has a 10 percent chance of giving 100 rage that's basically a built-in feral nature so by putting this on you have a 20 percent chance of getting an additional 100 rage from normal attacks super super good we also have clarity over here that increases the active skill damage by six percent of the secondary commander so again if you use Esong primary which like, i really think he's best secondary but if you do use him as primary you want to have a skill damage commander as secondary to take advantage not only of clarity but also because Esong has built in that skill damage buff we keep talking about this because it's huge right just for comparison sun tzu his fourth skill is the same thing but it stops at 20 percent and that's what's that's kind of what uh distinguishes sun tzu from an as an epic from esong as a legendary right esong sun tzu is kind of like the free-to-play version of uh esong right he they both do aoe they both have rage regeneration they both increase active skill damage they both can be on the garrison so sun tzu kind of a free-to-play version but esong is just so incredibly good because of this as well but with that being said you definitely could do this full skill build now really i do want to caution you like i said i'm showing you these builds because there are probably some of you out there who are going to use esong as a primary maybe um but realistically i think he's best as a secondary commander if for no other reason than because a he won't be as likely to be targeted in the open field and b he has that clarity you know he is probably going to be doing the most skill damage out of the pair right no matter who the primary is clarity is probably going to want to buff esong if you're going to buff someone's active skill damage you might as well do it to esong and you know he might as well be secondary so that way he can take advantage of clarity now with the talent built out of the way let's talk about some of the commanders that you would be pairing esong a with right now he would be most likely a secondary commander you can pair him with ethel fled she also is an aoe commander right she's dealing aoe in the open fields and she's giving the targets a debuff with that aoe now ethel fled does actually want a mixed army and honestly esong doesn't really care right he is an archer commander but if he's secondary then the talents won't apply and he only has that archer attack doubling 
for three seconds so if you pair with ethel fled you could do a majority archers if you want to um and just to maximize that ability but um ethel fled is something that you could do she also has a really powerful rejuvenate here which will give you some more rage engine for your uh, army now the only downside of doing ethel fled primary is that she's also a commander just like isong who is uh really really focused in the open field people see an ethel fled and they want to kill her and so that means that not only is your ethel fled a target but so is your isong and if they get targeted and they die then your Esong is out of the fight. So that's the only downside with Ethel Fled is that, you know, uh, just they're going to be targeted hard, hard, hardcore. So be prepared for that. Another great pairing that you could do is actually a Richard the First with Esong secondary. Now, this pairing is obviously a much more tanky pairing this strays a little bit from what Esong is ex uh, explicitly good at right which is dealing aoe and usually what you would want is to generate as much rage as possible for that aoe but the benefit of having richard because again he actually doesn't have any um rage regeneration except for under 30 percent uh strength he gets some rage regeneration here plus he gets a little bit of burning blood and you probably should use undying fury take away this march speed put it here um so he has a tiny bit but really not enough to to exploit uh the power of isong's aoe but what he does bring to the table is the healing and the tanky of his army so what you would do is do a full infantry army Richard primary Esong secondary and essentially what that's gonna do is have a very tanky AoE army out on the battlefield and Richard is one of those commanders that typically gets ignored in the open field because he's so tanky that a lot of players focus on the Genghis Khans and the Minamotos and the Ethel Fleds and the Sun Tzu's maybe um you know those are the the commanders that get focused in the open field first which means that your Richard is going to carry Esong on his back and ensure that he stays alive for a very long time to maximize the duration of getting the value out of Esong's primary skill with that AoE uh, damage, which is just really a great option, right? It's a great option. Richard primary, Esong secondary. Now you also could do Sun Tzu primary, Esong secondary. That's totally an option that you could do. Now, of course, Sun Tzu is an infantry commander, whereas Esong is a archer commander neither of them care that much about their spe specific troop types uh it just it is what it is um you could do a full infantry army with sun tzu to take uh, i'm sorry a full infantry army with sun tzu primary isong secondary to take advantage of these uh infantry talents that you do have here and that will actually make your army a bit more tanky as well similar to richard just you he's obviously not nearly as tanky as richard because he doesn't have the healing now the great thing about a sun tzu primary isong secondary is that not only is sun tzu's damage being buffed by 50 percent because of isong's fourth skill which uh, you know this is an insanely good aoe as it is and to get buffed by 50 percent is crazy he also has rage regeneration which isong desperately wants right it's it's crazy the synergy between these two commanders um really really great in the open field um not only that but you do have a little bit of extra tankiness from Sun Tzu with that damage taken reduction of 10%. So I really love that pairing. Again, this kind of suffers from the same thing as Ethel Fled. Usually people see a Sun Tzu in the open field and they kill it. And the reason that they kill it is because you get so much value out of Sun Tzu's AoE in the open field that people want to handle that threat as soon as possible. Plus, usually people know that if they see a Sun Tzu in the open field, that means behind him is either an Ethel Fled or probably a Isong Ye. So because of that, it does immediately become more of a threat than the Richard pairing, but it still deals so much damage. So, so, so much skill damage AOE. It's insane. Now let's take a look at Kusunoki. Um, Kusunoki is another primary that you could choose, right? Um, if you do a Kusunoki primary Isong secondary, what you're going to have is a very powerful archer army. So all of the other builds that we talked about before we talked about a mixed army we talked about potentially two infantry armies this is a pure archer build right if you want to use Esong as he was meant to be used as a 
archer commander right you can do a full uh, archer build with kusunoki and the reason that i picked kusunoki over like someone like herman is because kusunoki is not only removing debuffs on the army which will hopefully uh maximize the damage that uh Esong is going to do but he also deals nice skill damage with his active skill not only that but he gives you 30 percent of archer stats which is really really good because you know Esong is going to be doubling that attack if his normal uh if that 10 percent chance of the second skill goes off ultimately he's just another archer skill commander that can really use the archer tree incredibly well while still getting rejuvenate and some of the other talents in here that you would want to see from Esong or have on Esong. Now you also could pair El Cid with Esong. Now this pairing is less common for sure. I think later in the game, El Cid really falls off in his usage. He's very good in season one of KVK. Um, you see him in season two of KVK sometimes as well, but really um, he's he shines in the early game just really because of his debuff and because there's not that many other options um however he is a legendary archer commander with the skill tree so he could replace kusunoki if you wanted to now of course he does not have aoe he's a single target damage factor but regardless he's still a really good archer commander he is a legendary after all and he gives you 20 percent defense and march speed of 15 percent plus over here you get a little bit more archer stats and damage to infantry so honestly there's a ton of synergy there even though el cid is very outranked by a lot of other commanders similar to richard you can actually pair esong with alexander now hopefully you guys are starting to catch the trend right the reason esong is so good is because his aoe is insane and that means he is so good and so versatile with so many commanders you really could pair him with with almost anybody just slap him as a secondary and boom you've just added insane aoe to whatever the primary is doing but Alexander is a great pair that you could use with Esong in the open field, right? You get the tankiness from the shield, and you're also dealing some good damage with your infantry army with Alexander the Great. Now, also, he has he's immune while he's on the map, he's immune to damage reduction effects, which is what you want with Esong. You want to deal as much damage as possible. Now, so far in this video, we've talked about fighting in the open field now if you're going to be garrisoning a city or a flag or a fortress there are a couple of uh, commanders that are better for that um if you're going to be defending a flag or even your city you would want artemisia actually as the primary and Esong as the secondary I think that's a really great defensive combination I can't show you her because I don't have any sculptures of her unfortunately I didn't get any of her before my migration to this uh this new kingdom you also could defend a flag um or fortress with a uh Charles Martel primary with Esong secondary this is a very early game combination some of the earlier KVKs this is something that you could do obviously you would do uh probably a full infantry um garrison because you do get the 30 percent stats from martel plus you get his shield to add to the tankiness his counter attack damage is nice and then the esong in the flag is going to ensure that nobody can surround right the enemies cannot surround that flag without taking deads so if you're defending a flag and there's a rally coming in any armies that take that aoe damage are considered to be attacking the flag and if you know any if you know about attacking flags you get 100 percent deads right open field fights are severely wounded but attacking flags and forts and things like that those are straight deads and so if you're standing near a flag that's getting rallied and esong hits you with that aoe it it calculates it as if he is hitting a rally of the flag even though you're on the side you're not fighting him if you're in that aoe you will just straight up take deads and that's absolutely savage for controlling the field he's controlling the field and making sure that the enemy can't really swarm that flag too well without taking severe consequences and you know if his active skill goes off while people are trying to reinforce that rally he's going to be chipping away at them and giving them deads as well so Esong in a flag or fort is insanely powerful super super good another reason why he's just so incredible in this game um you can put him again like i said artemisia primary uh with Esong secondary or martel primary with Esong secondary great ways to not only defend a flag but also 
control the field and just deal insane damage to everyone in the open field with his aoe that's a great great option now you also could do uh wuzetian uh, as a primary with isong secondary that's totally an option she's just an insanely defensive commander uh for your garrison so that's a great option now you also can rally with isong you can rally with him as a counter to a counter to attila takeda right so i i hope i'm just i'm i am uh describing that properly but right now at the time of recording this in season four of kvk and even season three of kvk you know attila takeda is the dominant combination for rallies and they are cavalry commanders and the biggest counter to that would be a charles martel and constantine defense which means if your enemy is expecting attila takeda they fill a flag with all infantry they fill it with infantry commanders and then out of nowhere you can actually rally that flag instead of with attila takeda you rally them with ramses esong and suddenly you have an insanely good archer rally and again Ramses is great for doing the rallies because he has that attack tree and Isong is doing what he does best for controlling the field now this is a bit of a more advanced late game very expensive pairing right Ramses comes around very late in the game it's difficult to get this pairing to 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 exist right you have to spend a lot a lot of gems play the game for a long time to get that pairing but it is worth noting it is something that you could do now i'm probably missing some pairings right i'm probably missing pairings because again he's just so good you can throw him on the back of virtually anybody and he'll be doing nice damage but i think i covered some of the more important pairings that you could do with esong he's super good now it's also worth noting that he's incredibly good in sunset canyon this is you know he shines in sunset canyon for the same reason he shines in the open field and that's because he has that circular aoe you just put him in the center of your defense and he's just going to hit almost everything on the field for crazy aoe super super powerful definitely recommend using esong in sunset canyon as well now i feel obligated to show you guys some equipment that i recommend for esong but again Isong is probably not going to be your primary commander and because of that the equipment doesn't really make too much of a difference right the equipment that you're going to want is the equipment for the primary commander not for Isong. but in the event that you're using Isong as a primary i want to show you some pieces of equipment that i can recommend the blessed blade is a decent piece of equipment for him because he does get the four percent archer attack which is really good um if you look at all the other weapons here uh there are some that give other archer stats which you know golden age is good but i kind of prefer attack on my archers i'm not really sure um golden age obviously with eight percent stats is just straight up better but for a green you can't really go wrong with that four percent stats plus if you do get it to pop and get the bonus then you get a little bit extra as well now for helmets you could do helm of the phoenix for the early game or you could eventually make your way to either abyssal visage or revival helm these are both really great options abyssal visage is really like a more universal helm like you could use this on a lot of different commanders i actually have this on my minamoto um but you could you could technically use this for archers as well revival helm being a little bit better for archer defense um whereas here you get attack so it's up to you whichever one you prefer now for the chest you obviously can use the chainmail. this is actually even better than something like the um milanese breastplate because it's just a higher archer attack percentage it's one percent higher and it's a gray so you might as well do that but you also could actually grab robe of the forest guardian now you could this is usually seen as a gathering piece of equipment um but you do get four percent archer attack i don't know if it's really worth the extra one percent over a gray for an epic right i don't know if it's really worth it you could if you were just super optimizing um other than that you would have to go for something like shadow legions retribution and at that point we're looking at legendaries and that gets insanely expensive so realistically you're probably going to be using chain mail and honestly that's not that bad of a choice for a great item let's move on to the gloves now there's really only three gloves we can talk about here there's either the leather gloves you could do saint song or you could do seth's brutality I don't think Seth's brutality is worth it considering you get 2% archer health for this green whereas here you get 2% archer defense for an epic I just don't think that's really worth it for archers I don't know 
it just doesn't seem it to me leather gloves is probably your best option saint song maybe if you prefer attack over health but really this is actually giving you more stats so leather gloves is probably where it's at next let's move on to legs greaves of the exile is probably your best bet for this category because it's only a blue you get three percent extra archer defense and really you have to start looking at something like gladiator to get even more than that but really it's only a one percent difference and this is is a, again an epic like do you really want to spend that much more for one percent I don't know, but honestly, Greaves of the Exile is a decent choice as well. Um, you do have Ranger Trousers, but honestly, you know, you might as well just go for the blue. I don't even have this, right? I don't even have this. Um, it seems that Greaves of the Exile are way easier to get because you just get it from Sunset Canyon. So you might as well go for Greaves because it's easier to get the blueprints, in my opinion, and um, it's slightly better. Now, for boots, honestly, the sturdy boots give you 2% archer defense, whereas everything else here is giving you just 1% of archer stats for a same uh for a similar rarity you actually have to go to something like um i mean cloud racer even still as an epic gives you two percent archer health so really comparing a common to an epic like they do the almost the same amount or same thing for your archer archer commander so there's really not much of a point there you could go for shio's return but again that's a legendary you're probably not going to do that so honestly sturdy boots probably your best option now accessories these are you know you're unlikely to have these um so if you have them you probably don't need my guidance on that so just as a recap we've talked about what makes Esong so incredible we've talked about how you can get him we talked about all of his skills potential talent builds although you'll probably use them as a secondary we've also talked about potential equipment you could use if he was your primary um however if he is secondary to somebody like uh for example kusanoki um you could actually do all the equipment i just said you could put those on kusanoki as well and you would get insanely good value out of an esong secondary there and we talked about some of the commander pairings with esong that you could use for open field fighting and for defending a flag or a fort or your city or anything like that and we talked about how lethal he is in all of those different areas so with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video hopefully i've earned a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that it helps the channel out a ton we are so close to 10,000 subscribers like so insanely close i can't believe it honestly i'm super thankful for all of you so make sure if you're new around here to drop a sub on the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a new rise of kingdoms video links are in the description below to my discord channel where you can come and ask me questions about the game as well as my twitch which i do stream rise of kingdoms every single week go over there follow me on twitch so you know the next time that i go live there's also a link in the description below if you want to play rise of kingdoms on your pc there's a download link there below to get blue stacks and we'll download rise of kingdoms for you that's how i play i love to play it on my computer that's how i record my videos it's just it's one of my favorite ways to play the game comment down below any questions that you have about esong whether it's using him as a primary or secondary or anything else about him comment them down below and i'll be sure to answer as many of you as i can as always the rest of my social media links are in the description below i do have brand new merch down there if you want to check that out too and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace